a big nostalgic moment for me because though I was a very quiet student during my university days, but there are a lot of memories. Uh, right from the corridor, newsroom, my classes and everything. So it was like reliving my memories of my university days and connecting with the teachers. It was very nice. It was a complete, I like to sum up in one word, it was nostalgic. Great memories are made outside the classes. So mine is also one. Uh, we had an event uh, in, the, in the hall downstairs in the basement. So it was not that happening. Our group, we went and we just sat back like a backbenchers. We all were in one row and we were not finding that event that exciting, that something we should enjoy. And we were kind of like forced to sit there. So we all started hooting. We all started making comments that it doesn't fun, do something exciting. And that turned the face of the event. And whole event was all about the way we, we made it. After that, we played songs, we, we danced and we did all those things. But still, that was the most memorable moment for me till now of my university. In one word is like discovering myself. I came to know the real me, what I am, what I can do, what I'm capable to do and the heights what I can reach. So discovering myself. The compliment from Jory sir that you are a very great writer because that was something very unexpected from my side that my HOT will be noticing me. There are many uncensored moments also, I can't say that, but getting a compliment from my HOD that I am a great writer and I have a long way to go. So that was the, that is the moment I like to again listen from him that yes, I made it. I was a very quiet and submissive person. Asko told me that you can be quiet, you can be submissive, but you can be very loud in your writing, very loud. So that was the thing which I discovered while I was in uh, my university. So ki I can be very submissive, I can be very quiet, but I can be loud with my words. So I made that my strength and I applied it in my life and uh, I speak less, but I write more. behind the screen also everything which is appealing is not it might not be right everything which is shown might not be right think beyond the limit think of little bit of future not only what is happening in the present don't shape your future thinking about what is happening in the present shape your future what can be built in future so just don't think of today Think about behind the scenes, think about what is happening, why the things are happening. Instead of thinking that how the, all these things happen, think why this thing happened. And then you will be on a new journey of discovery. So yes, apply that word. Dosti, samosa, canteen ke samose. First thing we used to have in the morning was have that samosa and go in the class. Even though we used to get late for the class, but samosa were the constant. So first is samosa, second is dosti, and third is anything can happen in your life. Nothing is limitless, anything can happen. Just open yourself. Because I came to know of a new world in acting. This gallery, <laughs> this gallery where this camera is there, this used to be my favorite hangout spot. And uh, yes, this gallery. And another is news. According to me, the success mantra for a journalist or for an ASCO person is like, first is sincerity. You'll never come to know the outcome of that thing. You'll definitely come to know, but not on the spot. Second is hard working. Keep all the theories in your mind and take it in your practical aspect. Work hard, thinking, not thinking that I have to work, think that I have to learn and work. It will help you a lot. And third thing is don't limit yourself because this world is limitless. This, this field is limitless. Don't limit yourself either to digital, print, electronic, yay, wo, no. Limitless. First thing, sincerity, hard work and being limitless is the only success mantra you can go forward in life. I think it's a very great initiative to make a connect between the people in the industry and the people who are willing to go in the industries because uh, 
people who are in the industries they are the first hand experienced people to tell the newcomers that what are the things in the industry required they are the only people who can answer the questions of the newcomers correctly with the in hand experience of the industry so i think it's a great connect between the already in the industry people and the coming generation so it's a great initiative